Well, hello, my name's Martin Landre. I'm Professor of Medicine and Epidemiology at the University of Oxford, and I'm one of the co-principal investigators uh, for the REVEAL trial, along with Dr. Louise Bowman. The REVEAL trial uh, set out to uh, assess the safety and efficacy of adding the CETP inhibitor anisetropib uh, on top of uh, effective doses of uh, atorvastatin. So this was a group of 30,000 patients with prior vascular disease. Their LDL cholesterol was well controlled uh, and at around 60 milligrams, 60 milligrams per deciliter on the atorvastatin. They were randomized to anisetropib or placebo and followed for four years uh, to assess the impact on the primary outcome of coronary death uh, myocardial infarction and coronary revascularization. We also collected a very large range of uh, information that might be rela relevant for other assessments of particularly clinical safety. So the uh, uh, punchline from this study is that after all this effort, uh, adding anisetropib on top of high doses of atorvastatin in patients with very well controlled LDL cholesterol levels, as I say a mean of around 61 uh, milligrams per deciliter. We were able to further reduce uh, the risk of major coronary events by around uh, a proportional reduction of around uh, 9%, highly statistically significant. And that's reductions in uh, coronary death and myocardial infarction and also reductions in coronary revascularization. Uh, having demonstrated that, the second uh, important finding is that we really found no evidence of significant uh, clinical um, uh, safety concerns. So here we have uh, demonstrated for the first time that uh, additional reductions uh, in LDL cholesterol with anisetropib further lowers the risk of major coronary events in a group of patients who are already are getting uh, excellent lipid control using currently available therapy. I think there are a couple of implications from this study. Um, the first is uh, this really demonstrates the benefits of lowering LDL cholesterol even further than our current guidelines would suggest. It also demonstrates the safety of lowering LDL cholesterol even further than the current guidelines would suggest. It suggests that uh, CETP inhibition with, or, or tells us definitively that CETP inhibition uh, with anisetropib is an effective way for achieving those risk reductions and appears to be well tolerated uh, and uh, to have major no clinical uh, safety concerns. The results do contrast with some of the previous studies. Uh, we didn't see the hazards that have been seen with torcetropib. Um, and of course the trials of dalcetropib and evocetropib stopped with only around two years of follow-up uh, for apparent lack of efficacy. And one of the things we saw in this study was that the uh, true uh, magnitude of the benefit uh, grew somewhat bigger over the course of time. And so this is a trial that is recruited to twice as many patients as any of those previous trials of other CETP inhibitors. Uh, recorded twice as many primary outcomes as any of those other trials of previous CETP inhibitors and went on for twice as long as any of those other trials of previous CETP inhibitors. And I think that's an important methodology point. These are drugs that we're not going to use for days or weeks. This is about preventive cardiology. We're going to use these drugs for years or potentially even decades. And so we shouldn't try to rush to uh, a, a result. And so the REVEAL trial demonstrated the safety and efficacy of anisetropib in this high risk group uh, with, despite having well, well controlled LDL cholesterol at baseline um, and it, it was really the rigorous conduct of that study that allowed us to reach these conclusions.